a key player in that plan. He is heading up an ambitious effort to dramatically restructure government, make it more accountable and more effective. Mick Mulvaney is the director of the Office of Management and Budget, and he joins me now. Good to have you here, sir. Welcome to the program this evening. Martha, thanks for having me. Um, it's good to have you, and I want to get to that in a moment, but I do want to ask you something about uh, an issue that the president made quite a bit of news on today. Um, just 10 days ago, he said that China was the world's champion currency manipulator, but mm -hmm. today it appears that he has a very different take on that. He said they're not manipulating their currency. How do we put those two things together? I think it's been very difficult in the past for any country to establish uh, trade uh, currency manipulation. It's been very difficult to prove those given the rules that the WTO sets out. So uh, I'm not sure um, what the president was talking about today, but uh, I don't think it changes our policy. I think he had a really good meeting with China last week. It sounds like there's going to be some good trade developments that come out of that meeting. So I think all things considered, um, I think the last couple of days have been a tremendous success in terms of our relationship well, with China. I think you touched on something that may be significant here and that there may have been some developments in that meeting that that made him change his language a bit. Uh, there may be things he wants to get here, and I guess we're going to see that story unfold as, as we go through. Um, but I do want to focus on it. You know, there's so much discussion about how the president is changing his tune on a lot of fronts. But we just watched the drain the swamp moment. Yeah. It was one of many. You are the swamp drainer, uh, and it, it's your job to do this. I read that there are 43 different agencies in Washington, D.C. that handle workplace training or retraining for jobs. And there's no one person that even oversees the 43 agencies. Is that really going to change? Yes. Um, and in fact, I think it goes further than that. I think those 43 different programs are spread across 13 agencies. So imagine um, you're the president of the United States and you don't like the way that those workforce development programs are working. Who do you go talk to? Yeah. 13 different uh, agency heads? It's very difficult to do that. We have a rule in the private sector, which is that when everybody's in charge, nobody's in charge. And we are going to change that. We had a great meeting here yesterday with some business leaders from all across the country. And one of the things they encourage us to do is to redefine the, the, the federal government so that we focus on what it does, not what the agency's names are or what the committees on the Hill are. But let, why not put all of the trade functions in one place? Why not put all of the workforce development in one place? It's a tremendous idea, but it's just the first step of draining the swamp, which is a promise uh, yeah, the I president's know, absolutely going to keep. It's just one example, as you point out. There are so many examples across these government agencies. But, yeah. you know, unfortunately, perhaps for you, you now live and work in the area where most of these federal employees live and work, and they are not too happy with you because they're afraid that, you know, life as they know it, which has been pretty good, is, is going to change dramatically. That You're going to be held to this standard, whether or not you really revolutionized the way that government works. Are you, are you confident that you're going to succeed in that endeavor? Yeah, I, I am, and here's what I tell folks, is that many other presidents have tried this, or at least yeah. talked about it, from Reagan to, to Clinton, even o President Obama, I think, talked about doing it. But this is the first time you really have a businessman running the place. Um, we did a hiring freeze when we first got here to sort of give us enough time to sort of get the lay of the land and see how the government was operating. And we just ended that today and put out the guidance because now we've discovered, look, this place can be fixed and needs to be fixed. And here's how we're going to start doing it. It's going to take us about a year to come up with the specific proposals. Um, but you've got a president who is committed to doing this. It's going to be more accountable government, a more efficient government, and a more effective government. Uh, and that's what he promised. Well, I think a lot of people feel there's a lot of bloat and a lot of bureaucracy, and they would love to see that um, managed a little bit better in Washington with their tax dollars. Before I let you go, a a story today that says that you all have been meeting on tax reform and that the model for corporate tax reform might be changing. The president talked about going from 35 percent to as low as 20 or 15 percent. Is that is that not what we're going to get right now? The markets will be very interested in that. And is it now more about a tax, a 10 percent tax on repatriation, uh, bringing back funds to the United States? Can you explain? Um, I guess I can't explain because these sort of raised two different issues. But the bottom line is that, that tax discussions have been going on since we got here in January. I've been participating in a group that's being led by Steve Mnuchin, the Secretary of Treasury, and Gary Cohn at the NEC to talk about all sorts of different ideas. And all of the issues that you've just raised have been discussed, from corporate tax reform, individual tax reform, how do you repatriate uh, earnings overseas. Uh, we don't have a policy yet. We don't expect to have a policy yet for the next couple of weeks in terms of specifics that 
that we can trot out and show to people, but we're taking a very deep dive right now in all aspects of our tax code under the theory, go big or go home. We are not looking to sort of play around on the edges on, on tax reform in this country. We want to do much of the same thing we just talked about on restructuring the government. We want to take the tax code back to a blank piece of paper and rebuild it from the ground up in the proper fashion in order to help people get back to work. That's what's driving all of this. How do you fix government so that folks can have optimism again and have job opportunities again and, and not get stuck in this 1.9% anemic growth we've had for the last eight years under the Obama administration? We're trying to get back to an America that has a healthy economy, puts people to work, and grows so that folks have opportunity. That's what's driving all of our work, including tax reform. All right, before I let you go, I'm going to crack, take one more quick crack at this. You know, corporations and small business owners around this country listening to your words right now are listening to you very carefully. Are yeah. they going to get meaningful corporate tax cuts from this administration? Yeah. Okay, then, then they can listen to this very closely. Yes. Okay. We heard it right here. Mick Mulvaney, uh, thank you very much, sir. You got a lot on your plate. We appreciate you stopping by. Good to see you tonight.